In the past two years, Prince Harry and Meghan have earned £12 million, nearly $15 million. By just staying at their home in the US the couple had bought the luxury 18,671 square feet Montecito mansion for £11.93 million, $14.6 million, in June 2020. Now it has more than doubled in value in just 23 months. The mansion in Oceanside Montecito, which has 9 bedrooms and 19 bathrooms, is currently valued at £23,960,720, $29,350,320, million by property website Redfin. It means that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would make £12 million, nearly $15 million, if they sold today. The value of the couple's home has been put at £21.6 million, $26,485,500, by rival website Zillow, but claim it could fetch as high as £30 million, $36.81 million. A luxury estate agent said that property prices have soared in the past 18 months, and show no sign of stopping. The agent added that Harry and his wife only had to sit back and watch their home's value skyrocket. The hike in their home's value, which is soaring way above the average increase in California's superheated housing market, could be contributing to rumors that Harry and Meghan are considering selling it. While Netflix is continuing to wield the axe in California after scrapping Meghan Markle's upcoming project. The streaming giant has announced that it has laid off 150 members of staff, as a result of falling revenue. This comes after Netflix slashed Meghan, Duchess of Sussex's project, Pearl. Writing on Twitter, one social media user claimed that the platform threw away $100 million, referring to their multi-million dollar deal with the Sussexes. User at Sussex its success wrote, Netflix, dear employees, we're sorry about the Prince Harry, Meghan Markle's show. We threw away $100 million because unbeknownst to us, the VP of new talent turned out to be a delusional member of the hashtag Sussex squad. Another user, at CCT1, claimed, Harry and Meghan Markle are bad luck and Netflix wasted 50 to 100 million. They added, cancel Netflix. Netflix's cutbacks come just one month after it said it was losing subscribers for the first time in a decade. The streaming platform lost 200,000 subscribers in the first three months of the year. The redundancies, which account for around 2% of its North American workforce, will primarily affect staff in its Californian office. The streaming platform said the cutbacks were a result of a drop in revenue. In a statement, it said, these changes are primarily driven by business needs rather than individual performance, which makes them especially tough as none of us want to say goodbye to such great colleagues. The Duchess of Sussex was set to be an executive producer on Pearl, a feminist cartoon about a young girl learning about influential women throughout history. Royal expert Richard Fitzwilliams said the cutbacks would be a blow to Sussexes. Speaking to the Mail Online, he said, the serious financial situation for Netflix, which has seen its shares plummet and which has announced radical changes to its content, is reflected in the decision to cancel Meghan's animated TV series Pearl. This will be a blow to the Sussexes and the question obviously is, what do Netflix want from the royal couple now? Harry's Heart of Invictus series will be due out soon but the circa $100 million deal with the company is huge and they will need a return on their investment. The company that boasted a deal with the Sussexes and the success of the crown is now being forced to make drastic cutbacks and changes to its output. It may well pressurize the Sussexes, who have an internationally known brand, to produce more, quickly. Known